And I'm here with Disco Elysium. I have seen very little of this game, and I hold it was a good game, so I'm gonna play it now. Ooh, what's this? Dungeon Faith out of people. Those interesting facts comes up with original ideas. So my manic plus nine, but unstable. I begin make physical so active to water this body different elements of fuck. I think cool. I I think I do best as thinking. The capacity to reason. I tend to do intellect. Since yourself and others. Hmm. Oh, your body is built. Both of these have low intelligence, which makes it seem almost exclusive. How do you move your body? Isn't so bad for being a thinker. Are at home in the meal, in their dress, even the clear swallow of deep and up and drown. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient Vitillian Dream. Ever. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. Simply keep on non existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat. I want to know about my meat thing. Ex love. Ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic, son. This is logic. Fonzie, you never let me go. Oh, let me get off now. I like paying blind light. I need things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? I do. Let me you off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Yeah, I'm pretty good idiot. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you, a sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain. An undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. Hey, there's the disco. Disco. 
Dann ist es. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth. I know it hit an ungodly headache. Who am I? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. Caprice to name a motor carriage. A name of motor carriage. A motor car. Oh my gosh. I'm passed out drunk. It's like I don't design. this now oh my aching head health one more health jeez what is this for my sounds this told Punches and gut feelings, huh? I'm gonna let him play the puppet master. Oh, and some. That's what electrochemistry is. Hmm. Most of mine is because of my pants. See, these all real different things, but they make sense. They make sense what they do. Done with immense panache. That keep your poker face. Ooh. Cool. Ah, I'll read it for later when I'm more and more interested. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Challenging successor? Hostel cafeteria. I'm on the coastline, huh? The clicky game. Oh, it's out to alley. Oh, that alley. Boom, 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 boom. But they're close. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. 
Visual calculus. Oh, that's a pretty good percentage. This is a light check. You may be trying it. Interesting. What do you mean? Assess the damage. How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? Now that's some XCOM percentages right in the middle. Says it's a light check. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Let's go point into visual calculus to open this light. I'm going to try to take while the song was playing. Nice. I got the item. Looks like a shoe. Left foot. I'm size now is called the red. Event. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. I will pull on the fingers. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Yeah. All right, I will try to grab the tie. You swoop down and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. I got my tie. Okay, we'll figure three. Nice is two plus four equals. Okay. I see. That's the I say it feels my base chance for anything. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. A knot? Inland Empire. It's a horrific necktie, <laughs> but it's mine. <laughs> what the? Hmm. Price point fifty. I should go in the bathroom. I just kind of think it smells like you should have sent a pull of it. I was in the fine BNC liquids. Just tell me how I look. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. This fault of masculine energy? Off the faucet. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. No memory of the face? As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. <laughs> Abort? You claim that thought this through? I 
I gotta know what I look like though. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. <laughs> it's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry, my tongue's okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Hey. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. I think yeah. now. Gasp! It's me. <laughs> it's me. This is the face of a man who did not recognize himself. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? <laughs> what is this? I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? <laughs> That's saying I died smiling. My favorite because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring me. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Keep making it. <laughs> that won't it come off. What is the emotion you're trying to convey? It will stop them. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. Yeah. And here it looks like a cadaverous spasm. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, <laughs> putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive, for now. Oh, oh boy. I can attempt my own knowledge. <laughs> I can't experience <laughs> while checking my own pulse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let me see if I can find like it. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Bad place somewhere in the past. This is impossible. Gonna not bother. Let me be for now. Mio gave me experience. What's this, my soul? Oh, it is. Hi, I'm mostly dressed. Thanks all bad, that's all bad. I'll turn that off then, if I could. Did I look outside? The window stands broken. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Okay. The fan stands still. Mm. Terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can 
practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. The lights are off. They say, they say it helps you. Anything that interacted with this. I've closed the door. I know how to do stuff. Yeah, on the table. Money. What do you mean? Why money? Pump, pump, in the sun, behind the tongue, comes back, sneak out, he's gone to sleep. Alright, who's Lieutenant Kusagi then, huh? Who is that? Smell the sea makes you dizzy. Oh, it's a balcony. Alright. That's the vitamin washes over you. My other shoe! Hmm, <laughs> snakeskin shoes. Plus one composure of wine is one savior fable. Man, it's really that good on the savior fable. Savior fable full. Done with the nuts. Oh, nice. What is it doing really? Also, it's good though. Relations up. My vampires are a lot of boost and. Portal. Petrol is up. I'll take the bosses where I can. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Secret test complete, find your whole host shoe. Okay. Like two baby crocodiles. Specialization? <laughs> good. good, they're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Nice. I don't think I can interact with stuff. Can't reach. Yeah, I can. Set up for bed after 21 that long after. Night, the streets are empty, or by two, everyone's asleep. Alright. I need to pay attention to this clock here. One day. I found my checks. I wasn't like I was able to shine now. I mean, I can go back to the window? Looks like. What that mean? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind, the shards Yay. face outward. Whatever broke this window. Came from the inside. Oh, that's visual calculus. Pick up my own hands. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I want to test the size of the impact. Likely a projectile than a held object. Wait, 
I just found my shoe out there, didn't I? I threw my shoe out the window, that's how that got made. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. The shoe you found on the balcony fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Um, it fits the hole almost as well as your foot. Yeah, see, so it's the shoe. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Maybe I was trying to hit someone. And maybe, just maybe, you succeeded. We'll never know. I got experience for that. The window still look stands out. broken in its frame. So there's something to this I can redo thing. Visible. So that's what they mean by white checks can be redone. You have to go back to a mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face still locked. adorned. Alright, alright. Oh, right click does it. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> you can zoom out. Alright. I believe I'm a social inept. But let's try talking to a person. Uh, the young sorry. woman raises a cigarette to her lips. And Mr. Jane just called Dainsel. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer, of my military personnel. I don't want to just leave. Uh, no. Because you're a police officer, sir. He pulls on the scene, right? Oof, yeah. <laughs> Don't even forget it. Okay, cool. I won't. Now, how do you know I was a police officer? Can't tell you no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do you know I'm a police officer? It's the only thing I can do with you. Sir, you've been here for three days on official police business, as you put it. What business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. So? People obey you, and I mean drink You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. That's, ooh, ooh, that's, that's, that is straight up zeal suggestion power. I'm a police man. I got plus one for that. This is a red check. It cannot be retried. That's a that's not good. Logic. 
I like this logic face. I don't know where I am or who I am. I know what. I know what one sounds like. I don't know why I let me be an officer of the whole floor. Oh. I'm just filming that going. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. Fashion speed. The need to ask questions. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Well, if I don't want to ask questions, let me go ask some questions for you. Yes. Exactly, is he? Where am I? Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus, loud disco music. Disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh, disco music? Oh, yeah. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Isn't that thing for the name to connect with you? said about oh oh the better <laughs> oh 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 that oh oh were huge where i come from i was very young then of course like seven life gets hard but we go on oh oh there we go on, all right. That's on. It would appear so. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? Two o'clock, huh? Hmm. A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. Um, it went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Yes, there was a church in there, a really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... Getting experience actually feels pretty nice in this. That it doesn't matter anymore.
anymore and that we're alone now? It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like the winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like a wild beast. Oh. All the time when you're singing on top of it. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. That's so me. What did I do? No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. <laughs> a window was smashed. A tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. It fights me to heal this. Tell me there was more. The tape I got the phone show two. Show two. I got the structure phone. But I know I threw my shoe out the window. So the tape player stopped for a different reason. Hmm. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. So you don't want to be this type of animal? You don't want to be this type of animal? I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Oh, wow, from two to five. Jeez. The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Mm. I'll ask you about the 51. It's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. They have names. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Eight thousand years. You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Hmm. I think I know where I am. Glad to have been of assistance. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this face. That's not stopping the asteroid, it's still smoking. Weekend editions, take a newspaper, chop them one day. I think that would okay as an interrogation.
think I can click on anything I'm not being highlighted to click. Oh wait, hold on. Hmm. Am I imagining I saw something? The photo on the again. This one for me should be for the conversation that's on. Hold on. Wait. Wait a minute. Hey, I can at least try that again. What? Hmm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Backups to use. Well, it's all pounds. Very good, so. Hundred pounds. Vendy. Vendy. I just found classy. Alright, so they do that thing. The time doesn't pass. Just going between loading screens. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with. What about the pan? Oh, oh. Why am I not on hold? Did that help? It belongs in the new. The third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. They do add up all that. Which is why you need a wall high to get past the deck. I see, okay. It belongs in the new. Okay. Old decade on the court century. Old decade. Enough time that it's passed from the failure. Any moment, being. So it's saying this is essentially a face that's 20 years old? I guess that's what that means. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Forget about ostentatious orchestrations. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. Million. Forget about the O-O, which -oh. is about that. My city is Revachol. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air, what de nuit? Somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. The expression. Mm. Mm. I, I understand. That's been small disco music. I think I'm clicking something that make it. I'm going to go with the new. Anything else? I don't find it too much in the living. Anything to do? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. 
The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry Your Pretty Little Head. Oh, on a horse. I know that song. Sometimes we like to add finger pistols to the mix because, unlike Guillaume Le Million, you are a police officer. It's your nifty little way to say, I'm on the danger of this. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression ah, it's in that case. looking oh, good on you or anyone two decades if the calendar is to be trusted humanity has run aground in that time it's a different world now the expression is a relic you have some understanding of the near history of disco plus the trivia you've picked up along the way Episodic memory, however, remains in the dark. It may never return. You should prepare yourself for that. Maybe the new history of disco. You know, for a game about this called Disco Elysium, I am surprised there's actual disco. I thought it was just being. Funny. Oh look, time is still moving on reading on this. Hmm. Not really. OO must have just stirred your mind. They're more like a disco rock band anyway. Disco rock band. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. A thought? I gained a th what does What does that mean I I gained thought? What? Thought gained. And then you This is a light check you may be trying. I know the origin. I guess I will hope to try a light check and I may be try it. But that's just 3%, so... It's either leave and come back and attempt it, or leave and come back and to attempt it, so... Might as well try it. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. I only have a five. Jeez. One of those impossible. It's huge. It is beyond my depth. What? What's this? Research. Bonuses for thoughts. So they simply stand in the corner down to the standing new lines of some stolid pointed another ten years ago. Real thought for this hey, maybe you can police off into national vest. Hmm. I have a lot of thoughts apparently. 
Figuring stuff out. What kind of game this is? Put points into the doors. I might just wait for someone to send me to it. It was connected to the radio. Can you see the music? You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is nice. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. Those are my thing that I'm developing. Am I down on my luck, superstar person? Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for its prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. I thought it was obvious. Okay, I guess. Not that one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic small church song. Who's <laughs> laughing now? Yeah. No. no. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. New task sing karaoke. You would need another copy of the tape. Okay. You should sing the sad. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You would need another copy of the tape first. You should sing the. Serves them right. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. Sting. What is all this? Oh, the electric juice that comes from the kitchen. Someone is walking. Up bubbles rising to the surface. The fed. I mean, I like, clean only one Monday's written on it. Comes in more yesterday's menu. Today starts in the mains handwriting. Interesting. Science kitchen is all forcing out to a fourteen hundred. Let me catch a glimpse of Union. Like posters some red pennants. I mean, this hall is open in numbers. Doors open sixteen hundred. Pinball machines on point. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme. Used on everything, from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. Cling to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. The sentiment is called anti-centennial nostalgia, pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now, after 50 years. With a 
this guy. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Take his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kisoragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. 41st, huh? You realize he's waiting for your name. I like those odds. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. <laughs> I have to get closer to my name? I did. Deep gold and orange. Still, there's still many. Not yet time. Okay then. He processes information and disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday, Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Otherwise. So I've been drunk for two days is what that means. Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? Uh, yes, I have. I have, yes. Yes, the police. I'm a mayor. I'm a policeman. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the Cronin's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. So, the body is still in the tree, where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. For seven days straight. Done talking to the owner. I told you I'm not really a police officer. I can be so I'm the, from the police. I mean, I'm begging. What am I supposed to do then? Well, I know I'm a policeman, so I can't go, duh, I don't know who anything is. Let's get going then. Up to you, officer. I picked him's body. Hey, he's part of my party now. Good. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? I have a badge or something. Lucky pockets. You mean you don't have a badge?
Does it only when I woke up? I'm a policeman, I have my badge. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. I think there's a sword in the reason for the badge missing. As quickly as... As quickly as possible. <laughs> what a task. See you carry your pee. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. I feel like I would want to get my badge first. I want to be, yeah, I want the badge. It's important. The plastic bag collect bombs. Yes. I love to face. I think I can't remember anything. You seem to be following me. What do you want to know? That's all I need now. Nothing. All those things make me sound like a crazy person. I think I need at the police. I see. Things are on the street. Name is illegible. Where's the body? Oh, this looks like a motor call. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is a motor call. In and white livery bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. <laughs> In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leather work and heavy fuel oils washes over you. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. Some men are... The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. You can do good work with these. Cut chains, locks, and ropes, especially belts. The bar feels nice and cold in your hand, heavier than you'd think. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. I also want the flashlight. I, I want. I want everything. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. Blue. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch, labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. 
What's Don Fountain key, huh? Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. <laughs> the white suede feels luxurious under the touch, and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Did say the dead body takes precedence. Who's the body though? Probably has to be back here. Ah, that looks like a body all right. I mean call it day. You mean being decomposes. That's what kids won't hold away of the golden mean. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Inhuman. So he's dead. No, he's dead. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. I have no intolerance for this. You, this is a light check, you may retry it? Oh jeez. Active decay is that? Active decay. It's okay to throw up of his own. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Says I may be tried, so, uh. Yeah. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Hello, awkwardly. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. You. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. I can smell my own floor. Commodore Red. Still spilling bits of shish kebab. Keep it. Thanks. The 
hangover is clearly making this worse for you. We could use some ammonia to clear your head. If you can handle the headache, some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. I can't handle the headache. It's more likely he can handle the smell, unlike you. Any success? Unlike you. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling rag. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Oh no, Pretty clever. Be clever. I need more dance for to even look at this thing. I can even look at this body. It's so disgusting. That's what that means. But uh, If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. Oh He's gosh. almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. That's so mean. Oh, Shit's coming up strong, throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong, that sounds good. Joyous, you should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. <laughs> I mean drugs, the kid's on drugs. The kids on drugs? You got 12 year old on drugs here? Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno drives in a jeep. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. What are you talking about? He's calling us f***s, Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Boy! Um, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. You will see. The language these kids are using, pure unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. No reasoning. And that's a lot. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. Fast. This kid has got street smarts. Alright. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. And I coordination. 
Dios me paz. Kuno's Kuno Pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. That's some kind of game name. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking third person? <laughs> I'm the fourth person, mate. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fizzle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Help! He's got the Kuno help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. I'm just going to leave. Yeah? Get out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you. Yeah, that's right. Drag your fat ass out of here, fat boy, before Kuno fucks you. <laughs> Damage morale. Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? Yes, it can be difficult to be on the receiving end of so much distrust and outright hatred. Don't even like cops. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detectives. Up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now <laughs> lives under a bridge, <laughs> drinking and occasionally <laughs> passes by, shouting, I never loved that woman. <laughs> to comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match, said Captain Patolomy Price. Once the man's superior officer. It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions. And anyway, police work really burns you out after a while. Satellite officer Jean Vitmer, the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Matt Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories. Merely saying, whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. I did it. Die. I left. Oh my gosh. I guess I can just load from the other safe, huh? I don't think I want to talk to the kid. I want to talk to this one. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Everyone's that closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? I was wondering. Behind the fence. You don't want to fuck with me. I got my hands bloody. I'm not here, pig. You're not seeing this. Let's see this. You can still see the top of her hat from behind the fence. Yeah, I tell you. I'll die before I squeal, pig. It's behind the fence.
found a horseman. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. Yeah, there's almost finished behind the fence, so I need to double that. I'll die before I squeal, pig. Stay away from me, pig. You don't want to see what happens when you corner me. I'll die before I squeal, pig. What's this kid shit? Fucking mind games. I'd rather die than squeal. Get the fuck out of here, thief. You got done. Talk to me. So it's a girl. Interesting. It's a ghoul. Interesting. Interesting. That is interesting, I guess, to conform with such a thing. I don't want to talk to you, though. Oh, there's a crown of ribbon below, a light above descending. Below the moon, the other feather shore. Actually, is the greenhouse just right here? Oh, hey, what's that? Magnesium. Pickle. What does pressing this button do? Come on, you know, you don't want to. One system pulse, minus. I guess I can stop at any time? I guess it's just passive. Okay, it's a passive thing. I get you. Oh, hey. I gotta look at footprints. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. That means that counts. Maybe more than 12. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Footprints, eight pairs. Oh, that's some good calculus, actually. One by one. That's a, that's a lot of guys, actually. One, standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Is it? Don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Hmm, the cold. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Oh. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. Undeveloped? Look at that design. You're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. <laughs> Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. They're describing how I'm looking at it. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, that's a little hair <laughs> on you. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Eight, and 
yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. How many? I'm checking out his movements. 400 million! I was pretty off then. I can't hit 20. Way off. Way. Because I'm going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? I guess he's just here to talk to someone, right? Mm. I think this is pretty uh, extraordinary. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Maybe a drummer. Could be a drummer. That's stupid. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Huh? Perhaps it could be a driver. The driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Left the right shoe before the left. The way is on the right. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Mm -hmm. Well, it's to the tracks in the wood. Yeah. Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Uh, that is a good idea. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. Very heavy, very heavy. But why? Why do they have to carry him? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Things could be wrong. No, that's not it. Uh -huh. Hey, what's how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, looks like I'm going to get some more people. Oh, hold on. I need my thumbs up. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Adam. My English is failed. <laughs> it was okay. I know this pretty too. Yes. Hey. Whoa. It's cold with the rain. Da -da 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 -da. 
Good stream, bro. Good stream. I see. I see. <laughs> Those ties got you tied up. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, 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 hey. Party, party in here. It's like a disco party. Look, Dev, I'm playing this game too. Xbox Pass is oval. Now, Disco Elysium is my new game. Woo! I am currently investigating the crime scene. Yeah, I found footprints. Eight pails, to be exact. You're already farther than me. <laughs> I did kind of walk right out of the building. I've been avoiding people because I picked the logic stop. So I'm trying to do as much logic stuff as I can. Technically, we are all in time. Ning, 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 ning. Good stream, cool, good stream. Take care, take care. Good night. <laughs> uh, so let's see, I'm trying to deduce this footprint thing as best as I can. I know one set of footprints was very heavy. And I'm deducing that he probably carried a guy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you have been pretty MJ cool. You stream practically every day, which is pretty monumental. Pretty good stuff right there. I, <laughs> on the other hand, I've been barely streaming this week. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's been, but it's just. Uh, Preparation, I guess. Woo! More stream finish up those time roulettes. Perhaps even. Perhaps even. That only for only stream. Yeah, if you can call it 3 a.m. only, that is pretty only for me. I. <laughs> the first day of London Day where I went to sleep at 8 a.m. Woo! That's some. Um, that's some um, late night preparation for that. Mm. So, geez, that's five hours from now. That's like a person's half a day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you can just march them up to me now. It's one of these two. Maybe the victim wasn't conscious. I want to say wasn't conscious. Even easier to carry on a stretcher. Or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? That is true. That is also true. Me <laughs> too. Then try to sleep. Then the John, if I lost the inspiration. <laughs> oh, man. everyone's staying up late all the time, every day. Oh, yeah, did you successfully not throw up? Uh, you mean not get sick? I look at the body, no. My it, my body stat is abysmal. It, it was a 3% chance not to throw up. Uh, he threw up. <laughs> he threw up so bad. Surprisingly, it didn't do anything bad, but just like, yep. I puked and now I gotta find the stuff to make me not puke. He needs a king on the stretch between two men. I'd set number four, don't you? Or a kid? It doesn't make me sure. Could be a woman? Undeveloped. Mm -hmm. Could be a kid. Okay. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Understood. Anything else? Oh, you think it's just a week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. I you know. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashon. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging was the last one day. Correct again. 
Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. Sub-zero temperature. Good. Oh, to the smart He might be right. 200 kil- Possibly. But why? Yes, they could have used the mix. You have a point there. Anyway, it's something to consider. What else can <laughs> you see? That's all that says. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. It appears to be a lynching. But why? Oh, also another thing I'm doing is not letting people know I can't remember anything. Cause that's just the talk of a crazy person. I'm not crazy. Not that crazy. I'm a reptile brain. Very, very, very. Especially under the tree. Ah. Think some model guys. I was just lost a health point in real life. Ow. After hoisting him up, they stood in a semi-circle. Facing his direction. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. <laughs> yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over. Hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. This is easy. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way, what else? So yeah, footprints. Uh, I don't see anything else in the media area. Let's go look around. French Mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. What is this? Oh, yeah, why? Because it's nice and orderly. Well, <laughs> well like, help. easy on the eyes. Oh, yeah. Rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. The healed morale, I wouldn't be able to refill anyways. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vartner Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Hence the name, Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Carcinogenic? Glad you asked. <laughs> also, an engine that sounds like it's uh, poisonous, right? A not good for you sort of deal. Can I look at this bucket from this side? I can't do it from this side. I'm not talking to that kid. He made me quit my job. Oh, hello. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Construct the movement. Da, 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 da. The tire tracks were nice. left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. 
It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Oh, crash. Reverse torn. This guy did a three point torn. This visual cactus is pretty top notch. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there. Oh, that. I think so. Stopping bad. Hanging out. GG night to all the normal scheduled people. You fucking six hours. Also, oh, my man, dude, go to sleep. You need sleep. <laughs> I don't walk. I don't need sleep. <laughs> Boy. Da -da 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 -da. Some of them almost stuck to the Taj line. But... So this is where they accelerated. And then accelerated straight into the fence. Boom. Right the next. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard. Barely stopping oh. before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Didn't even know this survey. Hmm. Oh, close to the fence. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. I got experience for my introduction. They have. And though some of them bring me down. No, you know. No, you know. This is connected to the case. Motor cage. There's motor cars in this place. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. For now. Not here on the roundabout. You could uh, follow uh, the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went. If you find the time. I think I got it. Hello, oh, what's this? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Uh, this is a lot. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Huh, this button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. I'm not gonna look at all those just yet. What do you think of the... I like this big green ring around my head. I have all inside to freak them up with the other bag. Can you tell me how to not throw up? The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Nice. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. That's some questions for of you. Course. What can I help you with? I have some. Sure. I'm done with it. Hey. That was easy. If more comes out, the best Paul can hand it to you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Of course. Where to? Where am I? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there. And a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. It's not all no for problem. Now. She's very well composed. Back straight. She's well composed. 
Of course. I won't hold you back. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Hmm. Have all your gloves. Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. No visible and not. Thank you. Apple of ammonia, the dense handkerchief, hee hee. Oh, interfacing. Thick link takes scanning gloves and a plastic and a yellow. Here's a week time for I mean, it's both for fun. I can attempt to hang the main again. Let's see. How the dead body goes this time. You gave me stuff for free, that was a nice lady. There, he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Oh, Molly only gave me plus one. Jeez. I mean, I'll try it again because I can try it pretty often, but man, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty rough. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your guts. You managed to keep it in once. I lost my ammonia. Uh. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. I do it again. I think I don't want to be a cop anymore. Not at all. Now does the win right now. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. That's a BS. I don't want to know. I don't want to be a cop. Probably a good idea. Clear our heads. But before we can do that. From your back. You need to get your shit together. <laughs> I don't wanna get my but my is already to go. Okay. <laughs> we should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. Biometric <laughs> vessel? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of thought is that? Getting <laughs> <laughs> my boobs together. <laughs> oh Give my time gosh. An hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Yeah, another half hour seems about right. <laughs> What's this thought? Biometric compressor. Temporary research bonus none. Huh. Research time 40 minutes. Your poop is a point rather than becoming of a cop and a human being. It's supposed to be the opposite of that. Together, compress in a small area to achieve a solid level of poop compression. Squeeze your butt cheeks together for 40 minutes. Do something similar to two hemispheres of your brain. Talk to people, maybe that will help. Oh my gosh. Internalize? I 
I'm I'm literally trying to confess it. I'm confessing my poop in my mind. Oh my gosh. Equip and complete the confessor thought. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is hilarious. The hardest thing in this game right now is... Oh, this is ugly. No, it smells bad. Hey, this is something in here. I didn't see that before. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. The trash container? The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. I'm going to off of him. We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Oh, the or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. Most times, I'm the tool under the linen pool. Oh, the tool's not equipped. I'm at all not breaking into. I am only decent at talking, I think. But I'm I'm confessing the fecal matter of the mind. Game passes time quickly. I will force it together. Problem is we're not a beautiful dark look is building up. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour would have been bad. Two hours is mystical. You have truly wiped out all trace of yourself if you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. I think anything about it, all this time. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick the <laughs> That's stain, stain off the counter? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lick it. What happened? You used to be cool. Cool. <laughs> Go get your boring normal person drink then. Get your drink on and your act together. <laughs> Fine booze and drink it. He used to be cool, man. That happened on its own. Uh, that's my inventory. My tools. I need to equip the stuff. The orbs and shady areas. Holy. Yeah, Flash I bang a logo. Any time anyway. <laughs> really? Can I equip it now? What happens if I just leave it equipped? Oh, that's really bright. Maybe I shouldn't have that equipped. Don't shine into people's faces. Table, wearing a mud kick, boots, and wall down overalls. The papers of these wild pines look by logo of the tree. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabiner. Hmm. Makes your fingers itch. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine.
It's a dock worker's ID, doubling as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able-bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. I could steal it. Your fingers find their way into the shackle, flicking open its spring-loaded gate. The metal loop holds the plastic ID and a leather-bound pocketbook. The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Better be quick. You find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. Seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five, real. It feels nice and greasy. You slip the plastic ID card out of the loop and pocket it. The man continues to snore. Just for the record, you look nothing like the man on the document. The sleeping dock worker has little to say about your actions. He remains silent. Who the hell is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, a logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor, there's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Strike. Pick up the man place. does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. <laughs> now I try to pick them up. It's a right check. I can retry it. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. Okay. I got five bucks from him. Suckle! Damn, damn, damn. Oh, local ship card. Tell me, should they? Oh, local ship card. The local's opponent. I'm going to hold it. It's for the name the sign used to belong to. It look nothing like it, just so you know. Any man with thanks on me, I'm going to don place in a tiny embroidered portier. You are very look at the sleeping man, won't you? Who are you laying in the wheelchair? Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Can you like me? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Too married? You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Last and she looked up smiling. This Lena is wacky enough. For the motley crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> Hire her on the spot. <laughs> That's wacky enough for the motley crew. Oh, I remember seeing Dev talk to this lady. That's the one. That's the strongest memory I got of that. If I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing or anything. You seem to be in a table. I'm a paraplegic. <laughs> a paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by <laughs> spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion. 
Did you find no more? Did he fight you no more? No, dear. I'm not quite that old. That old. <laughs> Although I was injured in the line of duty. Were you a not a new? I feel like I wasn't old. Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revisholian flag on some figurative peak. Yeah. I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. Mail order shoe company? Huh. Oh, my name You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere, and well, once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. Oof. I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. Once our hands over the chrome wheels of a chair. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Let's move on. No problem. You know, I'm smiling at you from behind the glasses. How'd you like to war with me? Whatever do you mean? Maybe my real jail partner and fighting climbing laying back in all the corpses catching sequence kills. I think I was thinking of the lyrics to a song won the war with me. Join me. Sequence killers. Oh my. Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Damn, of course, I forgot I had you! I have side mysteries. I think it's gonna be poison to the pale natural. I can assure you with absolute certainty there are no <laughs> <Don't things laughs> taking place in the <laughs> In Martinez, huh? Interesting. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Yeah, it's a better too. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Perhaps another time. If all for good and wise. If you know, I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. I don't want to tell people I'm crazy. How come I can see that? I clip to the wall. Is that something you can do in this? Let me, let me talk to Paulson. A man in his late twenties with a thin, mm. unimpressive oh. beard notices you approaching. Not like my he drops beard. the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Glances into his little notebook. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41. He looks to you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. Still doesn't know your name. <laughs> he still doesn't know my name. What's going on with like forest fire but smells like liquor? Between names. I have a drink. No, you cannot. Officer, I was thinking more along the lines of your name. I'm calling in between names. A potential of ruin. Say nothing. Right. 
Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. A uh, pile of coasters finds a slip of paper and hands it to the lieutenant. This sounds like something we can use to call this Sylvie later. Yeah, you think? You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. It is just... But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need direction. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right then, questions. I got this. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous question, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Ask him about Tobias' location before asking if he killed him. Hmm. How did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? I'm not a cop. Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She <laughs> went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Yeah. Creep. How dare you. But I make hope. If he's the man, so does he work for him? Mm, it's one of those things, huh? Mm. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Lieutenant says he opens the church, notebook at the cover, the number was safely tucked away in a small pocket. Be solved, then go go. Asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Got nothing to do with the lynching, huh? Get to my mom's. I'm a feminist. <laughs> Guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. Oh no, it's just meant for it. Everything has something to do with everything. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. The difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over it. Get over it. So are you the no, bartender? I'm not the bartender. I'm the... I could if I were a bartender, but I'm not. I'm the cafeteria manager. <laughs> it's always... So I would. So I would. Understood. I hope it is. Okay, I don't though. know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. That's your job. You kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. 
<laughs> hmm. That's all I can ask, though. Two months stream, I'm changing that to the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got you on the lap. Yo and kick. Kick, 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 and who killed him? I don't know who killed him. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. She went away because... Have they not been telling you? Okay, you're gone. Thank you. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. I am a feminist. What? <laughs> I know about myself that I am a total aging feminist. You have a phallus in your name. I said I'm a feminist. But there is a timetable for this investigation dictated to us by the stages of decomposition. And it says we need to move on. What does he mean by this? I gave the thought from that. What? <laughs> thought gain inexplicable feminist agenda. Uh, that's all. Let's go. It's all the experience. That's a lot of experience. Feminism did I'm a raging fan. This is... That's all. That's a lot of experience, you know? Maybe it's because I completed the thought, though, maybe. Mm. Not so fast, Mr. Feminist. You owe me 130 real. Now. Oh, excuse me. You owe me a hundred and thirty real. Also, the motto's cratic accent. The IIR, or Interisolary Real, is the global oh, currency. This. Whatever part of the world you're <laughs> in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. <laughs> he calls. Yeah, he actually changes what he calls you. This I uh, you mean some form of street trade? I understand you, you mean I owe you money. Wow, you're a genius. Wow. Yes, well. That's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Points to red ledger on the camel. What do I owe this place for? What, what exactly is money? You <laughs> So the tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Okay. That is a lot of real. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. What well, exactly is what money? A philosopher? Might be. Yeah, might be. Money is what grown up people use to pay for things. You know. Like this hostel room or, or eight bottles of potent blend. And nine packs of Royal Extra. Royal oh, yeah, Extra. Really. Interesting. Where do I get it from? Why do I need it? Let me show the coins you found. Is this money? Billions. <laughs> Where do I get it from? Serious? From your work? I don't know, but you can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't think cops can take bribes. 
<laughs> take bribes. I mean, don't take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Dude, only to survive. Why do I need it? For survival to pay me, unless you want to become a hobo. A hobo? You want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez, and it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. <laughs> let's let you live. <laughs> if you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. I'm not an arsehole. He stops and says mostly to himself. Oh, oh. Is this money? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Count them and give them to. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down to 90, right? No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. But that's horrible. 100 times small. <laughs> So there's sadness in his voice. He feels pity for me. That's funny. A hundred times more. Yes. But that's horrible. It is. It is. Since finally looking at the couples on the camel. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude <laughs> between what is asked of a person and what they have. Darkness, right? But <laughs> well, that's awful. <laughs> Evil. The order of magnitude between what they have. Darkness, right? It does, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. This. Okay. You don't know I don't think I can invest him for anything. Happens now. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then. Hey, you any longer if he does it. Has to pay. And he shrugs. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrath, right? It's not that far away. I don't have a home. I'll take my chance. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Hmm. You mean somewhere else to run up a huge debt? I don't think so. The union squeezed most places out of business to fund a strike. You're better off home. That's interesting data. Squeeze most places out of business. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. Good luck. Man wants to say something thinks better than good luck. My thoughts. Oh. Oh. West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of <laughs> 490. <laughs> hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist at the center Ow. of the stars. 
not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit's singularity lasts. Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! My stomach hurts! <laughs> This is great. This is too great. What the heck? All in doing so I checks are not. Only cap on don't raise to full. Only cap. That's just the solution. It seems to have done something. How did you unlock this? <laughs> There's a whole thought thing. You get thoughts for random things. And it just lets you like passively research it, I guess. <laughs> Inexplicable fabulous agenda. Temporary research bonus. Something stores in you, something interdisciplinary. Is a newly formed reaction to the tyrannical gender roles around you or something you've always had? One thing's for sure, you're not a mild feminist. Oh no. These are incendiary thoughts aimed at undermining the very pillars of society. Could you fashion them into some sort of weapon, perhaps? A force strike weapon to decapitate the XYE chromosome hegemony. Plus two authority against men. Now it lasts for a decent while too. This is still going. Whatever this is. Oh my gosh. Back to the king's body. I call it playing crime. That's a lot of sleeping dark vocal. Fresh container is still legendary. The hangman's still legendary though. I guess that means I can try it again. Dress is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Oh, you don't really know, do you? A vague, blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. You can oh, oh, run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Okay, um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dang, that's a long time to think. But it does give more encyclopedia. Factual memory retorts. Let's see mine. Let's trace your drunken steps back home, jump across the lazy channel bridge, southwest of you. All will get up, get off the asphalt in 20 minutes, drop your feet through the courtyard, scar little children, under the great race motor track, the A81, to reach the Le Damon and Menor and North Jamrock. Streets are frozen this time in the UK to ice. Walk down Main to Peridichon. There's a side alley there with footprints in the mud. I think this is a good thing to have passively. 
seems like I can have three thoughts active at a time. Alright, so that's just passive happening. Can I help you? Crash container outback yields. No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing the depth. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. Yeah, pay for it. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Is it Captain's common sense? Probe it and find out. Doesn't seem callous to you. Guarding any leftovers from the pool. I want to see. Callous? What are you? Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revachol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. Okay. Kras Mazov, nom de guerre, was an economist and a historical materialist. He was a leading figure on the Grad side of the Centennial Revolution, where he headed the nine day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism, Mazovian thought, or Mazovianism. Maybe I am Kras Mazov. <laughs> yum yum, tell me more. <laughs> yum yum. Ah! Now that's a nine day, but that says eleven day. Yum yum, tell me more. Him, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. No one was implying you were, officer. Where were we? Where were we? We need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Okay. Fix the keys from under the kettle. What thing? I saw the sign of... Why can't I go to the kitchen? <laughs> yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. Mm. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Well, that's we nice. should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. There are these oh. things called days. <gasps> you sleep between them. I do! I'm saying they'll come after you've slept. Just making clear you got that. Come on, Logic. <laughs> I can't go in the kitchen. What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. I'm social. But I'm really hungry! <laughs> I'm hungry! He wasn't pan fried, he was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with. He changes his mind. Fine, okay. The kitchen is closed until 1 pm because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. 
Hey! What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Action speed, ooh -ha. So come back to this thing-based questionnaire. Ah, oh, that thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. Absolutely in, in the, the question. question. First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. <laughs> Your body is ready, sire. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Your body is ready. Oh my gosh. Do I have a shaker in my hand? Is this... Is this a shaker? It's not a shaker. It's nothing. He's holding nothing. It is not a presentation. <laughs> they have to voice like this stuff. He is holding nothing. It is but an imitation. He's only pretending to hold a shaker to illustrate for you that he does not, in fact, have one. <laughs> oh, there's nothing there. What? Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie and doing this? Face the imaginary shaker furiously. Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Because you're not a bartender? That's right. <gasps> I'm a cafeteria manager. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there anything else? Play it calm. This man needs to understand. You need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. <laughs> drink! <laughs> so I go into my mouth. Oh, well, in that case, let me pour you a nice, nice big, refreshing marinella. Do you want that out of a glass or a pineapple? <laughs> But I had a glass of pineapple. <laughs> you do not want to taunt me now because you made those. Don't be an imbecile. I'm not going to serve you a marinella. I have work to do and broken things to fix. If that was all, <laughs> I'd like to return to it. I'm getting so much experience from asking such dumb stuff. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. What's this? Find out who's in the union box. Eventually. Wait, didn't I have... No, there's no more thoughts to think. Don't have level up points. Because I can attempt stuff again. This one walk is talking to God. Oh yeah. All right. Try again. The worker continues oh. to nap, undisturbed, despite you shaking him. This guy is a real juggernaut of sleep. Understandable. Hey yo, what's this? I want to close for the mental. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I should try the grin thing often. Can't interact with it. Knock through the door! Kim tries not to look at your book and down the bathroom door. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. We're unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit. Vomit. He 
notes. Think nothing notes, totally quick. He takes a step toward the door, like he'd like to leave. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. What is over here? The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. Alright, so that's just resting. Can I equip the flashlight? Oh, oh, oh. Be able to look in here then? A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Stop steam from fogging up the mule. <laughs> so if you have something specifically encrypted. Do that stuff. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Stop steam from fogging up the mule. It says that it's a light check, so let's try it. The chain cutters slip out of your hands as you attempt to twist the faucet into place. Well, you know one thing for sure. You've probably never been a plumber. Hmm. They're both locked now. It's ugly in here. Nothing new, but saw that there's another thing to attempt. Get a flash and low light areas. Understandable. Can I talk to this lady for anything else? Hello again, sweetie. She needs money. The sweeties get money. <laughs> No, no, I can't ask the old lady for money. Come on, who would do such a thing? Well, I'll put points in the volition. Sweeties need money. Oh my goodness. Alright, I got my poop confessed. Let's see if the body fixes up anything. Still is looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that cause. That is all it does now. Emitting it is all it I got plus six for confessing it, but it's not guaranteed, so let's hope for the best. As you Yay! Breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting. You stand in it. I didn't puke! Dee 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 dee. Whew! The Nat 6, even. Nat 12, I should say. Small <laughs> finals plus 6. I rolled a 12. But oh, man, it needed. It needed a 12 to even. Match it normally. That's why it was impossible. Man, that's a tough one. With the plus six, though, made it a lot more feasible. Physical success. And one. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you is a puzzle of decaying flesh, tattoos, and tendons. Puzzle. Oh, 
always do that. They do after seven days, yes. We are deep in decomposition here. Of course. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins, and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Hmm. Those just size belt, huh? The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. That's interesting. Fancy looking boots. Delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Oh, yeah, interlocking plates would be, be armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Oh, the lieutenant uses a memo technique, A6. That's not just any notebook. It's a classic. What? Oh, a memo technique, A6. Any notebook, it's a classic. I mean, not the armor. It's clearly some manner of super armor, or future armor, super future armor. I'm useless. I'm useless. Come on, encyclopedia. <laughs> I'm useless. Ceramic plates, zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Yeah. Under the hill, fair weather, fair weather model T five hundred VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Advanced armor on a dead body. You would think with all the poorness around this, someone would have looted it or something. It is. It's expensive. Charles Alignment and Conversation on the Ceramic Papers in the Exchanges. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. What are you talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. Hmm. 
Wait, my yearly pay is five thousand five hundred. Ka-ching, baby! <laughs> That's the way I take it. Not too much. Sounds puny, no one I can't pay my hostel bill. It's a sorry situation, I agree. I agree. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company. But that's just hearsay. Just something I scraped together from my station. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. I'll come in the loop. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Hmm. Like whirls of floorboards, the design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice. Right sabaton. The whirls are in the shape of a letter and number combination E50 100 1000. Can you read it to me? It's a time ball point. Hang on, it's time. X5415. Six seven four five six seven eight two two two. Let's lie. <laughs> Drama, please. Come on. We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can change it for us. Let's lie. Drama, stop being dramatic. <laughs> Something can use a radio. You say it can change the force. The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more arms after seven days. We should keep a lookout for these pieces. The armor could yield information. Maybe him or something. Maybe he's just wearing these boots and there's no rest of the armor. Yeah, right. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying oh, form, ageless and synthetic. Oh, the the stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above.
Stop! Stop! <laughs> He's gonna pull his head off. Oh, jeez. He's in distress, why? What's wrong with you, asshole? Please be letting go, Kuno! I don't know, baby. I don't know why he's such a... <laughs> <laughs> Officer, if I may ask, what were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind that. Okay. It is. We've requested some for a full set. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income. As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware, yes, that's a lot. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. Really? Of no nation that I know of. If anything, it reminds me of religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh lives often turn to innocent worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. Missing something here. I mean, fills the empty and pulls down the zip of his own jacket. He wears a wide leather belt around his waist and a gun holster under his arm. A gun holster? He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. <laughs> I mean, the thing is cut. <laughs> Detective, I need your belt. This man's not quite hung. What's that? A true get sunshine. Mini. <laughs> Trigger is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices, primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. This is two metal cat ampules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. I don't want to waste one. And a sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. Huh. Took a picture of the hanging the guy. Probably a good thing I didn't pull on it too much. Maybe I should have taken the boots off before we took a picture. Nah. 
They almost could too, me, Bimble. In case we need it. Then it says and shakes the people, then they join the cold then. Oh no, you call a perfect copy, the dead man's tattooed chest. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? There is only one ample left. Use it wisely. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. I have it, I should look at a ladle that talked to Coop's meal. Sure. Just don't lose it. Hmm. Listen for the tattoos. Yeah. People, it's no longer this pack of cigarettes. The glossy eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute, and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper teeming with opportunistic organisms. The young man's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Hold on, airships. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Cargo under airships. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. The brief suggested as much, politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Probably not a briefing. Then you should ask me the first moment we get. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Is one way around. Points to the buckle of time. Is one. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, limbs limp and torso covered. In I don't tattoos. think I want to look him in the eye. There's nothing his eyes will tell me. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Something. Get his eyes. 
I don't want to. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post mortem. <laughs> I'm traumatized. It to see that the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position right. at the time of death match the discoloration? Done before. Pink is where the blood settled in first hours. Didn't see if the corpse has been tampered with. Time of death matches the discoloration. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. Eyes too. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. I can look at the stuff. I think it's guilt points. <laughs> Kuno, he's going crazy, Kuno. Oh, is that how much I can level it up? Oh, yeah, the numbers match the diamonds. I see. I think I only got one skill point. If this is to be believed. Yeah. Becky. Things that I think. Yeah, the cap of this endurance one here. Which makes sense, makes sense. I mean, there's no reason to not level up stuff, but. I'm not sure what I would want to level up. Probably the physique. Let me build up endurance, I think. Just. Because it seems like a bad thing to leave. Oh, what was this up? Hold on, skill. Alright, so that is it. I mean, these points are like so itty bitty, but they'll make a difference in the long run in terms of things. That's what I'm gonna go with. Like, you know, in, do a preliminary inspection of its different parts. The normal, ask Kuno what he knows. No, ask him about the case. I've done some stuff. So, what do you think? I think he's dead. I think he's up right after death. Don't speak in that comes cold. Being up, see the bruises. What's all this does? Do. Most of them are post mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. They usually walks at the body. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. He means he's fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. Half a kilogram. The fuck he's saying? <laughs> Talking about shit. Yeah, lucky. Maybe. He doesn't really want to on it too long. <laughs> Agreed. 
especially on the neck. The belt acted like the tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. What's that mean? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Agreed. Especially on the neck. Yes, there's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. I agree. His personality is no longer a part of the world. The longer part of the world, I think he's dead. <laughs> he has no personality. Totally dead. Totally. <laughs> No, no longer stores the person I mean it's time for that. Yeah, it's seven days ago. Too heavy. This person's not coming back. Dead, 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 dead. What is dead anyway? Yeah, like totally. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. I don't think I don't want to do any of those. This is fine. <laughs> I can't catch you. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. Look him in the eye. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. Ew. There is no one home. Just subaquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. And Finn has been. Finn, tell me, who are you, dead man? You may we tried this. It's been doable. I have to listen to chat. It's 28%. I like my odds. The corpse Oof. is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. Who are you, dead man? Oof. Not good enough. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. Hmm. It is we do pull. Who are you? Back the corpse off. looks right oh, that so bad. as you distance yourself from its stench. As you narrow your eyes, this is a trick. You've done it only the lower extremities. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo. Oh, you dead man. It's also covered in tattoos and I'm not sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver. We might miss some of these things once he's down. We finished him. Might miss some of these things once he's down. The cadaver slowly hmm. twists on well, the, the material appears delicate and fragile. These are clearly not boots. Indeed. Oh, the lieutenant uses a memo. It's all you, baby. No one ask who the dead man is. <laughs> well, it's my wall, but, you know, I can't, I don't know. Ceramic plate, under the heel. Fair weather. Fair. That's for us to find out. My initial report on... No, your first instinct was correct. This equipment is way beyond what a security guard can afford. I don't want to pull the boot off, it's going to... Pull them out. A small bell light. It's anything but faint organic like whirls of floorboards. The I am so disappointed in you. <laughs> what are you I'm interested in? <laughs> the locals probably we should keep a look up for these pieces. No. He must have worn something precious underneath his clothes. They have removed all his clothes to get to it. 
They did not just strip him for the putrid rags. Someone could have cleaned the yard, but that's a question for the red-haired thing. Aye, aye, you They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre, the Mazda, the Besmerti, and the like. This one still has his underpants. What? Are you trying to ignore me now, fuckface? <laughs> you cool enough? <laughs> no, this boot shit is super boring, and the guy's a total vistapaz. Vistapaz? The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos. And extremely yeah, this is done. Pink and Let's blue. down. I don't think I can find anything in here. Else. Mm. The steel Ooh, room is the experience. a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach. Wow, oh, Sandy ex experience. It, they make it, make it feel like it's an actual uh, detective book. Swimming for spell presents a unique. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. <laughs> the cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Airship strength. Someone else to it. You could saw the branch. I did. Maybe we could shoot him down. <laughs> we saw the Climb branch. There and saw the branch? That seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appear to be suspects in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt like chicken on a skewer. Someone else? You mean like the police? And someone who's below detective. Someone like a paid garbage man or a cleaning crew? I have bad news for you. That is a detective. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down, fast. Yeah! Bang bang time, pig! Shoot his head off! Shoot his head off. How? How? With the buckle ties the rope to the branch, that's a good spot to aim. Well, the buckle ties the rope to the branch. Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Bang. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the crew with some shit. Also, perhaps. Actually, that's a bad idea. Wait, let me try. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He appears too deep in concentration to even notice what you said. Say nothing, let him choose. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight <laughs> firearm. Oh yeah, here he we go. A paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick and gives the cartridge five tucks, securing it in place. It's <laughs> cool now. Why the cool now have to get shot? <laughs> That's a new A1990 armistice. Mass-produced muzzle loader, acetic, frugal, 
one of the most common firearms in the world. Common, huh? A990. As per this muzzle bubble. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. This nose, I'm kind of like uh, fidgeting on the mud here. And he does a part move. Shoot the! Say nothing. He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, He missed! The guy actually missed. God damn it. A lot of things were wrong with that shot. The Phalostes was the wrong choice. His shoulders were raised, but above all, he cannot trust his eyesight. His eyesight's bad, huh? Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Kuno study too. Kuno feels study for the Beano clad. Hey. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in his hand. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Well, the important thing is that he tried. You know, you don't feel like too bad of a shot yourself. Team success, huh? You know, you don't feel like too bad of a shot yourself. It's bad as it is, us shooting firearms like punks here. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't hit the victim. Yeah. Just don't hit the victim. This is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Officer, why do we only have one gun? Gun is stolen. <laughs> Extremely unfortunate. You need to contact your station about it as soon as possible. Try not to lose this one, please. Take the gun. Take it, banana, shoot him! Take it and shoot yourself in the mouth! No, like, you're the right The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. You've held this, a P9 armistice, before. Mm. At some point, it probably used to be your choice of firearm. It still feels comfortable, like you never laid it down. What the fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth! Well. 
The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your mouth? At least you won't miss. What the gun? What the gun? What? Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the morning light as the corpse slowly rotates. The slow movement of the branch in the wind and your shoulders directing the gun sink up, dancing hypnotically. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because before and I, yeah. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? Branch movement analyzed. What the god? Oh, jeez. Damn. Hey, uh, I don't think that's gonna help anything. Well, this is 50 50. It cannot be retried. Uh, this is a tough one. Only 50 odds. Uh, I gotta go for it. I don't know anything else I can do. I'm just gonna go for it. Yunk. Oh, jeez! Plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Oh, numb awful! Explosion. With your ears still ringing, you lower the weapon to see what happened. Oh, in the stomach! Oh, I am not a good shot. Oh, that was awful. Ooh, dice! I nearly rolled a critical failure. Ooh. That hurts. You missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight in the chest. Bits of ribcage protrude from uh, the skin. No blood, only a murky sludge dripping down his belly. The sudden stink makes your eyes water. Well, could I go heal yourself now? Like this? Oh, pain. Ask for another shot. You'll get it with the next one. The goddamn light reflected off some window. Surely. Keeps missing. I don't think I can do it again. Stop crying, you're sensitive! <laughs> the armistice is sufficiently precise, officer. Especially at close range. It's not the gun's fault you can't shoot. It's your pig hand. Oh, jeez. Uh, pigs don't have hands. They have, like, fucking hooves or something. Kuno has hands. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. The pink. Which I'm just gonna be sort of. He says he can shoot it down. <laughs> Cop bitter because he fucked that corpse up, Kuno. What a fucking good killer. Oh. We still need to get him down somehow. I don't know, the stench is making time in the corpse, but the how? Way. The way I didn't want us to. I asked King Harbour for help. Yeah, boy. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. Or we can try to find some secret third path. It's unlikely though. 
To the gates. Let's negotiate. To ask the suspects for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Evra Claire? Very much, yes. Which is why I would have preferred us to handle this ourselves. Oh, uh, man, that sucked. And I shot him in the body instead. Oh, man. So much for passing anything. Yeah. The leader of the Union, a dangerous and corrupt man, from what I hear. You don't want to owe him much. Yeah, don't go being someone else's bitches, your kudos bitches. We'll see. Oh, jeez. That was awful. It's gonna be hard rolling for a lot of stuff here. I don't see what this is again. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. Do a lot. Oh. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star, the pattern still kind of has an ethnic feel to it, but nothing familiar. Gone. For you to discover, you've got someone who knows about history could tell you. My coordination is my second highest thing that so wasn't good. This is something you're a cop. Oh boy. Quite shame that is. I guess I'll ask this kid for more help. Kuno's got this. If there ever was such a thing. Oh yeah, nice Kunski, Kuno. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Love it in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. The kid is obviously high. Kuno, yeah, right in the mouth hole. Shit himself. The rage, Kuno. You should throw the rake at him, Kuno. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. We, you will see, the language these kids are using, pure unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Oh, wait. I can open this at least. This trash container is locked. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Just the feeling. A warning from some part of you. Oh, the really. smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been empty for over a week. Over a week? Oh, neat. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. It is really interesting. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Hello.
As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? Cadaverino odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Why is the from his pocket? Guitar mark, blue jeans. Pocket, empty or empty. He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... <laughs> the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. This is a military type overgarment, no label or serial number. This is the kind of red knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste, a yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that... That's all. All right, we should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hosted cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and this establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Kids, you hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. Mug. I'm getting that mug too. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. <laughs> Only in its social sensibility. Mm hmm. Then briefly says the mug then told the site to the trash. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. You've really? done this before. The movements are recorded in your elbows, the methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. Oh, no. Searching for evidence in the trash. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Soleil cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below and turbo noodles. Oh, nothing of note, however. Goodness. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, what's this? blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Yeah. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Oh, a damaged legend. That is interesting. Officer. Is that your paperwork? <laughs> Is that your paperwork? It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. It is, look. <laughs> Secret test complete, find your paperwork. So it was in the trash. He points to the clip on the plastic, has the LCM street grid on it. Hmm. Autopsy form in there. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? Camping my style. <laughs> I don't know, 
I'm bowling. I'm bowling. Try dangerous. You should do a thorough inventory of that. Be sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies, organized crime, or worse. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover authorities. I don't, like that I don't take those, bro. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now tell me what your eagle eye sees. Or are we finished? Hey, I am for the eagle eye. I found trash that was not trash. There was a lot of stuff in this trash can. Oh, wow, it's like a treasure chest. The legend named the case. I stink. The container sounds a muffled gong. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. The trash container stands in the spring. Damage the ledger. It's got a banana peel on it. My yellow me mug. I see, that kind of yellow mean. Look in the old mugs, someone may explain to the ones who find stumps towards the bigs of posting the salmon to send all of them. Oh god. Back with this. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. I don't read in the action. Look at all that content. Oh boy, here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? I'm not prejudiced. I don't know any other example of what not to do. But it was in the trash. Why not just call it out when you see it? Or. Do some volunteering work. Just finish your case, detective. What not to do? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read? Oh, again, that mug talk again. It will not, not happen. happen. The mug talk <laughs> is exhausted. exhausted. <laughs> it is time to return to Don't walk. walk. <laughs> oh, I'm sort of not written in a man's course of course look maybe can we salvage to start keeping notes on the case yeah let's do that it's the ledger you found in the trash a pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board barely held together by a metal clip this sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. It's a metaphor for you. For you. Thank you, Waterlogged Ledger, for spelling it out for us. <laughs> Waterlogged Ledger. Mm. It's just toilet paper sticking to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. If you want it to be kitchen tissue, it can, it can be, be kitchen be tissue. tissue. <laughs> it's not though. It's toilet, toilet paper. Take it off. Still wet. The this is good point. I mean, kitchen tissue. Sorry. <laughs> I can't All experience for that. Off your finger and voila. The ledger now looks Come on! <laughs> I gained a skill point for taking off toilet people. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, kitchen tissue. <laughs> he did it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Heels off the plastic easily. Oh, 
Inspector An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Mm -hmm. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. Looks like an official mark, made to be low visibility outside the right circumstances. What is this? What? That thing. It's an allergen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. Add information? It depends. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Oh, address. That could be useful. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've sold. Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. All RCM vehicles have headlights designed to reveal halogen watermarks. Mine too. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights off. Okay. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand, it's a sorry sight. How's the white papers? They're not exactly white. They're yellowed with patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, maybe 30 cases undertaken, not completed, mind you. It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Two cases a week? What do you mean? Is that all? notebook is annual. It says 51 on what remains of its cover. A molten strap of cardboard. Everything prior to this must have belonged to a previous volume. In short, there was more. There's more. Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. A title, one might say even. One that draws inspiration from snoop fiction and vespertine cop show staples. Yes, two caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another yet. The unsolvable case. Others appear more light-hearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location. And the murder at the hookah parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together. 
but it can be done once you're done inspecting them up close. Mm. You mean the alphanumeric? Officer, precinct, time of arrival at the scene? I mean, non-numeric time. Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, almost everyone in the RCM does. It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. <coughs> they persist in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one, the man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that, to amuse myself. <laughs> to amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. Happened to Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Like a fan of girls, the checkered papers dry in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly illegible. There is, for precisely, one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. I meant to pay for. Sadly, the letter only comes with an old, worn down lead pencil. It's unfitting of this monumental event. The ledger only comes with an old, worn down lead pencil. It will do, barely. But. The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens. Hang from the binder, like large caliber bullets on an ammo belt. Give me the pen, Kim. He is not really saying anything, just standing there, looking at them. Fine, I'll just use this pencil. Absolutely motionless at first, then animated slowly, imperceptibly even. The lieutenant begins to browse his notes again, leaving you to the case files. He doesn't want to give me the pen. <laughs> Onto the paper with a brash free hand, uncannily similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language <laughs> developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Yes. Get the body down. Interview the cafeteria manager. Yes. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would be out of place. A satisfying slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, you. and you. You're a you. swashbuckler with that pen, Harry. Oh, hey. It feels good. Feels like completion. Harry? Is my name Harry? And my mobile is so low. I can't even be healed. Things to be done, and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. No, actually. Any ideas? Yes. Hang me. Actually, I don't have one. The hang me. Great. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking, too. The Hanged Man. Good, strong name. 
We have a very good name for the case now. I'm going to start putting it the hanged man. It's good we sorted this out. You know the name the case. You get all the experience for naming what you're doing. I'm going to start on him. It's good we sorted this out. You don't exactly close them so much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. Let me explain the system. Can I read the case files now? It's a light check. Let's try it. Yes. Yay. You can piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB41, then date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB41201177. Zero, zero. The next world mural. I'm glad I can read papers, but I can't shoot a gun at them. So. Why, yes, your precinct number is 41. Every last alphanumeric in the files begins with it. And these are your case files. It's safe to say HDB are your initials. I figure out my initials. It's Harry. My name's Harry, isn't it? They accidentally said it to me. I got nothing here either. Logic really isn't the best faculty to have this conversation with. But it's the one you got. So sorry. <laughs> but I'm the one heal. So deal with it. Oh. It takes about half an hour to piece one together using the system you've devised. Where do you want to start? I'm gonna do that later. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clipboard. Oh, In the back, you see thin, translucent copy paper, some neon yellow, some bright red, all covered in boxes, like marching armies. These look like official forms waiting to be filled out, then rip them from the binder and hand them out, according to type of form. Rip them out from that. Three. The topmost are misconduct fines. The middle ones are station calls. And the bottommost are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. You don't have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. A monetary penalization ranging from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for 1,000 real, but that requires special paperwork. The details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. But they appear pleasantly vague. <laughs> pleasantly vague. Ah, kid, it looks like you need to give me money. These are quite sinister in tone. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified precinct police station. Below the call are the criminal charges you risk by not appearing. All in a print so small it could be considered downright cute. Yeah. A dozen pages of thin copy paper, bright red in color. You see the parameters of a deceased human form waiting to be filled in. Age, sex, condition of internal organs. Yes, all that remains now is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines for wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies to dead guys. Dead guys. The rest of the stinking cellulose is much worse for wear. Being sandwiched between the board and the rest of the paperwork must have spared the fragile copy of paper. I'm actually impressed. I'm getting a lot of data from finding my thing in a trash can. I usually could have not found it. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board 
feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters RCM. Something rattles inside, ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment? And something small inside. Light, made of paper or cardboard, or dried flowers, perhaps. Permeables. It's not hidden, per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would get damaged if something happened to it. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see-through. You cannot see to its center. With your hands, you four-sized pages hang from the clip screwed to the top of the board. Lonesome on the home. I might check the light probably open. Mm. Hey. The two sides of the board appear slightly misaligned, like a drawer that's come off its slides. If you bend the plastic on your knee slowly. The slides snap back into place. It should be possible to just, you know. I'm too. I don't know. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. The tickets permit access to the zoo in Revachon East. The aquarium costs extra. These let you go there, too. Oh my gosh! Oh! So, I'm smiling. So, the colored pencil drawing. The zoo in Revachon East. He's letting you go there, too. Ah, I can go to the <laughs> Zoo. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. Oh. It smells of chewing gum, apricot flavored, a touch of cinnamon, the end of summer. You think the label says Tutti Fruity. <laughs> Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card. Looped, round letters in a woman's hand. A young woman in her twenties. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think. Although that is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter. So you can read it when you wake up. Hey, my name's Harry. Make you happy. Harry, Harry, Harry. Your hand shakes holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled me entirely. I step onto the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon, when I get off the 42 and walk back to you. You, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always, always come back to it. Q. 
kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. What the fuck? Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector. A streetcar distance him. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. No, no, hold on. To what? There's nothing. Detective, is everything all right? All sideways. All sideways. Apparently there was some major stuff. You shouldn't have done that. Apparently, but I should have done that. Should have done. Should have done that. There is nothing. Penchum, penchum, penchum. Again. Nothing? Nothing said, brother. No treachery, just blackout. That's well, tough. almost nothing. There is the ground below you, that's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Yeah. That's me. Blue eyes, that's me. That's me. Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing, the unwell emotion. Even in the darkness, he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. No, I was cool. I'm cool. The cool when you're dead, brava. Hey. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Because it's always there. Not gained. Light morning? Jeez. Because it's always there. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Ah, yes. In the old factory system, they call it the ape. Got chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? My sense of smell has a name for the postcode. It didn't smell nice. It smelled like betrayal. What was that? Was that the yeah, accent in the. Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape. Stupid ape. The lack of beauty was not the problem. There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Poor. Yeah, man. What was that about? Yeah, what was that about? The bow collector. What was that about? Fine. You think they would let you until you disintegrate into biomolecule? No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. Oh. Yeah. They're pouring something on you. It's in you. Andy. It's delicious. Exception taste. Delicious. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Oh. With 
upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket. The air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink. Water. He's sending a small canstle to your milk. Drink. The water is cold. Hey, I held health as The there. stuff of life itself, as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes. The darkness. <laughs> well, I died too. It said begin. I thought it like reset the game or something. Like what the? The straight up. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Dab. Apparently, this is a sort of scripted event. Not much time passed, but some time did pass. Hmm. All the stuff of life itself as it pulls down your parched throat. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. With greedy gulps, oh, you down you. half a liter of cold water. Some of it spills on the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? Ask you the same. You were reading your paperwork. Then you passed out. I carried you to my kinema to take you to a hospital. Then you came to. Ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, ten minutes seems right. How's the hydrant? Why can I get it? Right. Virtual failure and hatred. <laughs> it got renamed. It got me named. You drop. Oh. Are you okay to proceed? Oh. Failure and hatred. <laughs> Let's hold this. Good. Hey. Yes. Huh. It gives me bonuses things, but less on authority. Interesting. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of the acidic stench of rotting food has rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat. The stuff of death itself. And then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of the toilet, toilet cleaner. cleaner. You know, like the bits they put into public piss bowls, probably called Fermi Discrete or Axel or something. At some point in its journey, the ledger has seen the inside of a public toilet. Remember when I said the smell of the upstairs bathroom was so rank they should have sent a poet to describe it? Why, yes it is. What? Among many other things. This cleaning tablet is used by the whirling in rags. Perhaps that's where the ledger was dropped in the toilet. By you. I want to see some more stuff. Put clothes in the trash. How are my thoughts coming along? This is almost done. Now I'm still going. Oh, collect all. I'm owning. They're both negative thoughts. Oh, yeah, I got a skill point. Please. Uh, I think I want to increase my morale as well. So I'm going to increase this. So I don't instantly die. There you go. I like to increase stats, typically. Alright, back to the interrogation. Dead. The straight up. Ass help.
I could like, open it forcefully. Can talk to you? Can I help you? Huh? Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Thank you, anyway. Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. I think Fugue states are more your forte, officer. <laughs> yes. Another thing. Great. I love those. Yes. Never mind. Good night. Oh, that got updated at least. May take a while. That's nicer than the safe, at least. Anyways, looks like I can go in here. I'm going. I'm going to the kitchen. Maybe this was not Dave. Hello again, sweetie. Just another entrance. The worker is in a deep slumber. Bill time. Ah, oh, dude. He's too sleepy. Bad for your health. If he's to kill, yes, yeah, just the guy who's like, I don't know what happened, officer. Oh, Anything from that? I feel like I should do more stuff over here. <laughs> but I don't always spawn. Alright, entertain the Kuno. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Right, Pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? How do they get Pig? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small-time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. Your size, good price. 500 real. 500 real. You'd have to be blind not to notice the giant white letters F A L N running down his trouser leg. F A L N. These are foul modulars, liquid bit, performance crotch, urban survival shit. Made in Mirova by scientists. Pants scientists. Believe it, you need this shit. Yeah, and slips is going to give you a quick thing the plastic wraps plates. Yeah, graphite black and look brand new. 
These could drastically improve your chances of survival in the urban wilderness. Coach Physical Instrument endorses these pants. They are tartan ready. What's physical instrument? They will also make you into an idiot. <laughs> they also make you into an idiot? Alright, Piggo, just rolling. Don't do business with the pig, Kuno. He's gonna steal all your money, Kuno. As you can see, Kuno and C don't trust ya. Can't do business without trust. Interesting. Kuno and C don't trust you. Can't do business without trust. What the fuck? A mug in the trash. Is this about the fucking clothes again? <laughs> oh, good depiction of myself, something that very better than that. Taken out of the historical context, but having to do with who? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder what he thinks. This little kid is. Uh, let's go middle one. Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you pigs are after the mug fucker? Cause he's the clothes fucker. I can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. Not in a pluful. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can. Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Interesting. He likes playing two and two together. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Get away from my Kuno! <laughs> yeah, get your bacon shit away! Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo! Get your shit done and out of Kuno's face. Somehow this is going a lot better than the first time around. Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. The fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't claim it. That's just some shit Rufin Gimps left behind, lazy dinks. He's hiding something. Are you hiding something? Pig, if Kuno was hiding something, it would be hidden. As a but it is not hidden, is it, sire? You picked up on it. You should examine the pile of roofing material again. Dunno, Kipped as gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eriopagite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eriopagites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. You still what thing? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Shit, nothing to Kuno. <laughs> a little water me. It's nothing. <laughs> Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. <laughs> yeah, her. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in I mean, a greenhouse is supposed to let you grow anything at any time, right? is sometimes used to fertilize the soil a few weeks before planting something. Maybe she was preparing the garden beds. 
ask about that. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. suspicious. I don't like it. It's too sus. Ugh. Sus. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Sus, sus, sus. Just find different voices. Sus, 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 sus. Physical coming up to Mungus. Yes, pray pardon, sire. Better to let it be. I did not mean to make you paranoid. <laughs> drama is literally <laughs> drama, please. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. Probably um. clan. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Regional. I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or, or, I don't know, some other place? Night City? Kuno is in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. There is Night City. Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't Ugh. stop the game, if that's what you meant. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. Yay. Because he said so. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. I 
he won't still. <laughs> Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. Hmm. You hear the lieutenant hum. That's true. Your test and Kuno get lost. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Right. Yes. What do you want to know? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor, yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here, and now it's come to its natural conclusion. Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite the brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Time to settle it, they say. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. <laughs> so, volunteer to represent the 57th, but not out of competitiveness. On the contrary. Somewhere in your mind hangs a dark green blackboard. There are two columns. One says, cases solved. The other, confirmed kills. The rows are endless. Jean Vitmer, Judith Minot. A special consultant, what was his name? Then the rose degrade into green nothingness. Martinez? Nothing. It's just a puddle at the end of some drain pipe. No one cares about this place. They care about sports. Most of our colleagues don't even know how to get here. North of the interchange doesn't exist. Well, technically, the official record keeper has been known to double count murder suicide. Technically. A common accounting gimmick used to inflate precinct stats. I'm good enough for this case. I'm not here to compete. I came because I had to. My fellow officers, the sergeants in particular, would have made this scene into a circus. Hmm. It's all part of the master plan, you see. Really? It can't be that. All of them wants to believe what you just said. <laughs> Not the ducks, man. They said a joke. I hope you do. <laughs> yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. 
If the test complete. <laughs> Pals. Turn out the initial inspection event bodies. Interesting. What's this now? They only said imminent, I guess. Click through the imminent. Captain, look at that lady. So if I check you, maybe try it. Because you're the best qualified. No, that doesn't seem right. I see any qualified. If you're so well qualified. Why can't you remember why you were sent? Anyway, don't keep the lieutenant waiting. Guillaume mm -hmm. oh, Le Ah, the thought is complete. Bad news. Guillaume Le Million did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour to the Sinyao province in Safray. Where he died of auto-erotic <laughs> asphyxiation. His body was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree in his oh. junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single, Wonderland, skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Revishov in the 30s, and also as a warning. Hmm. All psyche lonely caps face by one. Plus one thing. Blood oxygen is boring. That's, that was a good thought. Oh, this is one thoughts. Plus one plus one. Seems like a good thing, right? Yeah, see? Check three. Just automatically is. I don't know how. I don't know if I can just equip them like little tabs or something. I can look at it again. Let's look at it. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material. Thomas said, Take, take another look. I'll take another look. Because there's oh. a secret door hidden behind the panels of Catamaran. <sighs> That's why they're too orderly. Aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. <laughs> what is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Yes. That's the seventy percent check. Let's go. Yeah. It feels like I'm actually like getting stuff done, even if it's mostly randomness. Little play of Tracy Bonio. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine, sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder. In the mirror, he's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Perhaps 
it's not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, below our pay grade. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? The secret path the local kids use. Oh, very interesting. Really? Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, this is something. Hey, my money. something that the money is just to live a happy magnesium fish life. Yo, please, it looks mummified. Yeah. Secret path. Huh. Secret path, hoo ha ha. Oh, that's what they mean by secret pack. Oh, this is really high up. Oh, it's going to collapse soon. <laughs> Fuck it. Post called Fan Palm 37. Take all. Fine. Fine. What's on top? What's up there? What's all this now? Why is I can walk around so much? Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. You've got to be kidding me. I can't go for that. I'm the least fit person I know. crane towering in the distance over the container yard this looks pretty cool that machine is a convulsive 1020 hk is it quantum makes a lot of heavy equipment but this is phenomenal even for them but i digress we were focusing on your cloak I was under the assumption we could ask the leader of this union to help us get this body down. This is why we're here, right? <laughs> or it could be that we are just exploring. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it? Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops? Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide? 
I don't think this is a good choice. I see the video is awful. But at least increase it by unequipping stuff. Equip it, and I can make the jump battle. It's our pulling cloak with possible RCM markings. It's what still the heck? On the railing. Only two percent. But I got a knack for making bad choices. No, no, that's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer, and you've climbed way too high up there. That sounds a lot different than what's actually saying here. You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. <laughs> hey, hey, what happened? Sounds can do it right now. I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak after all. Oh uh, man, I am failing all this other stuff. The pants go back on. The pants stay. The tarpaulin cloak with possible RCM markings. Is still cool. I'm impressed that that's so bad. I don't think I can jump from any of this though. Yeah, I can't do anything with this up here. Interactive that way. Oh, ouch. Funny how two points of difference makes such a dramatic leap. Not that good enough, but there's something to keep in mind. I got some money from that, but not any real new amount of money I actually need. Yeah, old thoughts. I want to spend a skill point to forget the thought. I feel like I should look at the spawny again. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and white boots. The hangman's not. This is a steel reinf. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping. The local harbor uses. The cadaver hang. Mm, no. Can this kid say anything? I'll die before I squeal, pig. I come from the woods, Gustavito. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I've seen. Don't be traumatizing here. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, I Well, let's talk to the governor again. Hello again, officer. How are things? Well, uh, this might be the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. At least that's what my grandma always told me. Hope so? Yes. Think about the cute grandma, not the weird snow. 
disingenuous criminal. Got it. I do kind of, but I want to ask this. Nitrogen and sulfur mostly. And whatever factories and aerostatics exhale too, I guess. Yeah, check the mains. Uh, I'll do it. Stop okay. looking. Look around. What do you see? That's right. And the canal, the bookstore, the harbor gates. This is a great vantage point for keeping an eye on you. Eye on you. Yay. Yeah. My intent's keeping an eye on us. Oh, what's the point of noting it if I keep it to myself? No, of course not. I don't understand what this is about. Question, please. The kid did this right? The red-haired rat? Can't say a sentence without <laughs> or kipped? He's always giving me trouble. Trouble. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, you do your job, but that kid is beyond help, and he certainly won't help you. You've been writing here for quite a while, haven't you? Yes, I'm tired. I understand. The RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. There's silence, the smallest of smiles. I have to experience for that. That's okay, Miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're done here. Let's go. Of course. In directions. Where to? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment building, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. No problem. She's very well composed. Back straight. What is this at the police station? Excuse me? Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Okay. Hmm, but how do I go into the kitchen? Hey, a person. Welcome to Rivachol. Oh, that's where we are. Yeah, it should be open by now. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. This island. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. It's, it's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. The Revacholian nation makes it harder.
Command man, I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. <laughs> partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. I got good news that punch on us. I think they all want something new. I have to learn learned anything I didn't know before. Lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Whatever you say, officers. <laughs> okay. He smells of heavy motor oils and his breath of high tar content oh, cigarettes. Right. Probably Astra Whites. Astra. Yours? <laughs> oh man, oh man, that's great. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. So this is what racism looks like. God man. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. He got experience for showing him the mug. He doesn't live in Martinez. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Please explain it. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. So, lately we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this then? It's what the Kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. They say so themselves. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their first place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Yeah, I think I can get that. <laughs> Do be such college trader. If we, the evening people, pull together, 
We can form a bulwark against these troubled times. Root out the forces that seek to undermine the well-being of our people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's just straight up calling he's like, yeah! Yeah, man! <laughs> people. Oh my god. <laughs> stern expression remains unchanged but you sense he can't be happy about this turn of events <laughs> what the heck oh my not much anymore i'm here to pick up some cargo but uh, the dock workers are on strike so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass that's situation. such an idiot uh... Apples. Apples. It's exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions. Oh, not much anymore. Apples. Apple. Is it? Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. We're on the same side here, yeah? No need to bust my balls, huh? I'm here to pick up a load of apples. Just regular Koiko picked apples. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think? Yep, it's one of their main exports. They grow them down South Yeko Katara. A beautiful place. Got great scenic vistas. In fact, Yeko Katara is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. Yeah? Says who? Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koikos. They are everywhere, except their own homes. He means the people living in Grad. Yeah, you know, Gradniks, Gradvolk, those degenerates from Grad. Cause that's what they're all called. Koiko Pichik, uh, Loslav Koiko, Koikovich someone. <laughs> Low self-esteem those guys have, mind you. They look occidental, but they are not uh, really like us. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? Uh, did you miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, <laughs> even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? Relax. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So he'd remain unaccountable. Oh yeah, they're a big deal. My great-grandfather was a carter, had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. Someone with a cart. What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches, before machines. Sure fucking is. We have a guild and everything, huh? Very ancient. Very prestigious. God damn right. They've been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But when they try to replace us, they'll regret it. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck them right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice ain't no laughing matter. Oh, not much anymore. The strike? Oh, they've been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. Apples. Apple is exact. Fine. When you said before that you were down with racism, <laughs> was it meant to learn? Or were you just trying to win his confidence? <laughs> Uh, 
I suppose that's a relief. Just be careful, Harv, and you avail yourself of this technique. A line may be useful in the short term, but I have a way of catching up with you later. We that's know true. lie, sire. And it didn't feel like one to us. He chooses to believe her for now. <laughs> that didn't feel like one to us. Oh no. And one more thing. As you've seen, these sorts of attitudes are quite common in Martinez. So I expect this to happen again and again. I've had this conversation enough times in my life. From now on, I'm going to stay out of it. How you choose to respond is your business. But be careful. Now let's move on. Oh. Now. This is beyond racism. Uh. Top 10 list. Pete. Sick. I guess I'm just going around and around now, right? Just gotta find more stuff. Right, I keep remembering I want to go to the call, but I keep talking to people. Get experience for talking, it's fun. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritte slogan on the back. The packages are small. Discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. It cannot be retried. Oh, jeez. What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royale. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. So you can lower stuff. That's fine, I don't need it. Oh, that's funny. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says... A good... A good... Same for case. To show you that... Yeah, you can also lower stuff. You can't just ask anything mm -hmm. you want. Oh. That's the tear machine. It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine, then it gives you money. You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so... Oh, thanks. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there, somewhere. Oh my gosh. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Dramine is a really good painkiller. Yeah. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying or exercising. Um, no. Sorry. I'm not like a doctor or... Saint Batiste. You know. The farm Saint Batiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells meds out of Saint Batiste, that one, there. She is right. Saint Batiste, the company, derives its name from Saint Batiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is—a rare case where that really is the full etymological history, as far as almost anyone knows, at least. A colourful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. The bottles wink at you in the light. The smokes too glitter in their wrapping. 
It's like looking into a kind of heaven. Your knees are weak. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The oh, great really? flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love. The beauty, the truth, the poetry of it all. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Oh my yes. What does alcohol do? Plus one, minus one? Intellect. Oh hey, they get those pluses all. Uh, my stats. Um, the pale aged vodka is special, I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. I think it's just luck because it's too expensive. You know. I mean, I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. No. Fritz only sells legal drugs, like the law says. Hey, right, time for actual talking. Welcome to Fritz. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? You mean this? Girls kissing. This is pop stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. I approve of this. Maybe future of this thing. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. Benita. She's a model. Usually it's a model. Or a singer-songwriter. Or a model. We are not the fashion police. <laughs> We're the real police. <laughs> so it's fashion police. That's the joke. I don't oh, know. Geez. Fritz? I think they think that the extra tea makes it funkier. It doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta with two T's, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. Interesting. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know really long. Not really. Um, no, I didn't know him at all. Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably going to call it night soon. This is a fun game. I like this. This is my. This is one. This is. This is in, in my jam repertoire. I like this. I like this. Very relaxing, too, for how funny it is. Uh huh. Let's see what I can do to Moto Call. Open the clip. Fine, Paul. There's like a lot of people there. Ooh, trash can, hold up. Let me zoom. What a call. 
inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out. All right. Ready? I turn, you press start. It's next to the preheater. The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The rounds below the cage jumps, and the engine of the Caprice Commander comes to life with a whiny growl. It's loud. Like a leopard waking from its sleep, yawning and roaring at the same time. The lights unfold with a little click, casting electrical light onto the ground before the vehicle. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. Things. As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. There she is, Revachol West. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They shimmer in the Kanema's headlights. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stock lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. Let me see. Right here. I'm going to the top of the map by the segment of the coast. Filling out into the great ocean. No, it does not. It's not the optimism. There are many of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. The first row has 18 dots. Okay. Not bad for what? You don't even know what it means yet. <laughs> it's true. The next is the longest. It runs all the way around the border, and then some. You count 216 oh. perforations. Considering that nice, large number, a wave of pride washes over you. Though you can't say why. Oh, I hear my morale. That's nice. The last row has three perforations. That's it. Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. <laughs> Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Volunteered? That's what it says. I might have guessed even longer based on your age. What did you do all those blissful years of your youth? Don't back on my list. Yes, that does seem quite likely. Your youth coincided with some heady days for Revachol. But let's move on, shall we? 
His next roll, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed gifts. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see, wow, more than 200. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. So my guy's supposed to be really good. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations left. For an RCM officer, especially Prison 41, which is in the general quarter, it's rather um, tame. I mean that in a good way. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. Yes. Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Oh, this and that. Let's not get into it now. Why not gardening? You've already got the goal. <laughs> they mix levels of fucking up. Gloves, come on. The lieutenant nods. Right. I'll go turn <laughs> off the lights. Let's go for it. Ooh, huh. Can I improve upon? But I would actually want to try again, I guess, huh? Anything. Look, seems pretty important. Probably want to hope to increase that even. Let's go for it. I'll only radio to be poor, I'm missing stuff. I'm gonna go for the clock again. Failing so much, I can use it in here. I remember to only put my clothes when I get near too.
until you just put the stats in. Pauline cloak with possible RCM markings is still caught on the railing. It's only 58% spurred, but it's better odds. Go for it, mister. Yeah, it's a fail. It sucks. No, no. That's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you almost strained the muscle there. Yeesh. So if I load a quick save, do I just... If I load quick saves, can I just attempt it again? Like, is it one of those things where you can't just... crunch the numbers? Oh, darn it. I know it's fine there. cloak with possible RCM markings is still oh, caught green. on the railing. As you leap in the air, a chilly breeze engulfs you, sharpening your senses. Close your eyes. Ankles tingling from the tension, blood roaring in your ears. You are ready for your rendezvous with the concrete pavement below. As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive. Alert, capable, must be the adrenaline. I know you could do it. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but it's going to explore the harbor now. Disco. With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbour rushes back in. I'm putting my paints back on. Oh. A police cloak made from heavy tarpaulin. I've been walking for too long. Big boulder holes scattered on the surface. What's my shovels? Oh, anyone? I thought they said there might be stuff in it. Yes.
This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads, Rene Arnaud. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabinier uniform. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Why did you take that? Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. The clock really didn't have anything in it. Sheesh. Yes? Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his familiar Nemo Technique A6 and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. His is written. That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. But you can't quite muster enough testosterone. The heck? Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seol is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Evachonien. A point of pride to him? No. The lieutenant nods. Good. Let's change the subject. Excuse me? You have a... a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Yes, but containers contain things, shiny things, they're interesting. I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Fine. We 
should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. The RCM deploys a self-styled structure called the Decomtage as its chain of command. Every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. Interesting. Try work. The case at hand. It can work miracles. Really? You look fine to me. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Psychodrama. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's lazarette. Was there anything else you wanted? Okay, I got stuff from that. I'm gonna call it a day. Fun game, fun game. Alright, thanks for watching. Good night and goodbye.